guys, I am hot and sweaty, but coming to you very happy from Usharif. There's one tomb that is especially UNESCO, and it is pure. Okay, I keep saying everything's beautiful, but it's it's really so well preserved, even though it hasn't it hasn't been renovated. That's all original, right? No, it's not all original. It's all original. So what you have are three tombs behind me here. So one, this is the special one that is designated UNESCO. And number three is here. But then you also have um, graves here and on the opposite side. Again, all are whoa, birds, pretty much unmarked, um, which I I find that very interesting. That's not how most cultures uh, do it. So I do find that interesting, but I'm gonna turn you around. You can see the graves in front here and the UNESCO site, and I'm gonna show you all around right now. largest jungle at the UNESCO protected biosphere oh my god the name you know I really should memorize these right before I start talking it is beautiful here wherever we are and right now I'm on a boat and we're going a little bit slow so I can do this but then later we're gonna speed around but this is a beautiful place to visit there's so much to see and do. There's a small zoo. There are enclosures with animals out in the open. Um, there's still a lot to see that I don't know yet. So I will take you along with me and show you as we go. But honestly, it's there's just so many m moments that I'm seeing um, in my eyes that are just, it's just breathtaking. It's so natural, so rugged. And there's so much diversity in the flora, in the fauna, in just the, the mangroves that are around all of it so let's me stop talking and let's get to it Suhandra, the 
UNESCO biosphere here in Punjab. And now I'm in the Big Buck enclosure, which was a donation from the World Wildlife Federation, Netherlands and USA in 1972. It houses, ooh, there's a lot of flies because there's like a lot of poop. It houses 302 big black bucks and there are about 75 females, the rest are males. And this is the largest enclosure of big black bucks in Asia. And it's wonderful, like I can see, okay, so behind me here, there's a couple, couple of the males that are like having a little, I don't know, horn fight, I guess. I'm just gonna sit and chill here, shoot some video. I guess they're gonna throw out some food and we can watch and see what happens with all of that, but it's beautiful. I again, feel so fortunate to be here. Okay, I'm so, I'm so lucky. They're bringing food right now on a tractor trailer. Just fresh grass, kind of looks like maybe it's mustard leaf, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's so lovely and the little babies are so cute. But they are all like, they're all having it. They're super happy, jumping around, it's so cute. Wait, I'm gonna show you. Another place where you can stop here is the Sarigur Palace. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, according to Mishpa, there's not really much to see inside. So it's basically to take a walk around, which I've seen families already coming in. There's this lovely gazebo here that you can stop and take some photos at and walk around the palace. It's a private it's privately owned now. This isn't government property. So it's possible that you might not be able to get on if there's some function or something going on because it is privately owned. But it's beautiful. It's really quite pretty. Let's let's take a closer look. Release me on moving on. Feel the speed of my ride. No worries, no more, no, no. Here's your big is complete without a visit to Noor Palace. This was built in the late 19th century as a family home and when the family actually arrived after it was completely done they decided they didn't want to live here because there was a graveyard next door so it was never actually used as a residence or I, th I think it was never actually used as a residence maybe it was but it's really beautiful 
It was turned over and used as a state house uh, for a while. Now it's an army garrison mess, which I'm assuming means that they throw parties here uh, for the army. But it's really pretty. And um, here's a tip for you. We actually couldn't get in just with um, our credentials. You have to have your original passport with you if you're a foreign guest, or your original ID with you if you're Pakistani, plus a photocopy. And there are no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Even me, together with the uh, uh, Punjab uh, Tourism Board, we had to get our asses to a copy maker and come back with photocopies. So don't come without the photocopy. They also are starting up light and sound shows in the evening time and they have very posh seats in the in the front it's like uh, sofas and then the seats are just kind of normal behind it but you could book that in advance I personally I would love to stay for it but it's been a really early day I've done a couple costume changes today and I just want to go back and eat and relax in my hotel but it looks like especially if you get those comfy sofas be a really fun thing to do here. All right, let's go tour your palace. to get on a double-decker bus in London, but we are not. We are in Pakistan. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Looks can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no pro I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no pro I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Woo! We are on Bawapur's very first tourist and sightseeing bus. Once COVID is done, this amazing bus is going to seat 65 passengers per trip. It is such a smooth ride. We are going to go on a sightseeing mission right now to catch a few of the sights that I've missed so far here in Bawapur.
fun development. I am now inside the police car. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, it's Misma's birthday, and the only place we have left to go is Hotel One Bawapur. So uh, the guys have let me come into the police car to drop me so that Misma could head home. Yeah. <laughs>